Y'all see what time it is, CJ the champ. You know what I'm saying? First of all, congrats on a one milli gang. Hold on, my man's up 1.3 though. You know what I'm saying? W man. Big congrats to that. Stink meaner. The personification of hatred. Let's get it. Let's get it. <clears throat> Hatred. To dislike a nigga intensely or passionately, <laughs> to the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga on a daily basis. <laughs> now you see, ladies and gentlemen, there are just many haters in fiction just in general. Yep. One example, Reverse Flash. I mean, yo, this man hates mm. Barry so much, I don't even know if you call it hating at this point. It's like a severe case of meat munching or hell eating. Then obviously, you know, we got your D.O.'s, your Freezers, your flat nose, no nostril, Voldemort, how does that oh, glad smell? Man. And yo, you even got your scars. Ah, Scar, please help me. What the fuck? Biggest what hater in history right here, gang. Man's a bitch. Adios, but ladies and gentlemen, nah. the man that we are focusing on today might be one of the most despicable, vile, disgusting, and ignorant human beings to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel <laughs> H. Stink. <laughs> Colonel H. Stink <laughs> Let me see. Listen, ignore that border. You're not saying around me, the green one. I. Exhibit A. Hey, where's the eye? All right, ladies and gentlemen, to there understand is. the philosophy of stink meter, and basically this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the the moment. An altercation caused by ignorance overwhelming the logic otherwise rational thinking of a brother. Now watch yeah. closely as I personally give you a demonstration. I don't know, gang. Hey, watch where you going, nigga. Hey, hey, what you say to me, cuh? Now, as you can see, this is, is ready to pop a cap in Damn. each other's asses. So they Hold start on. to get to blasting and miss every single shot like they just got That's tough, gang. Return your guts. You know what I'm saying? Return the tools, bro. It's not working. The set of a new hope. And once they realize they just both wasted each other's time, they end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Free! Bruh. Nah, gang. Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, let all that over a little shoulder bump. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Nah, Stinkman. bro. Now, even back in his childhood, Stink Meter was always an old, hating, bitter ass. He didn't care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked happiness in general. Man, this shit. Yeah, that's tough, gang. Shit. At age 15, Stink imagine not wanting to be happy or not liking to be happy, bro. Like, that's actually fucking tough, gang. Stink Meter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is, he didn't care. He was just glad that he ain't had to see sh no more. So doctors this. only gave him three years left to live. So he decided for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. Also, just sh sing giggles. And the thing straight is, to hell, gang. Know how he <laughs> bro, this man was brought, in, brought into Earth, bro. Just to start his path to hell, bro. Become an old man. That's All tough. they just say is, bro, it's basically a Sith Lord. The hatred <laughs> drove him to live every single day. Now, later on, we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan Ultima in Atlanta, not giving a care in the it's world. Him. Jesus Christ, it's like Trump. Him whipping it, right? This man. Wait a minute. Yep. As I'm now thinking about it, who in the hell gave this old blonde nigga a driver's license? <laughs> Whoever issued this shit. You should be ashamed of yourself. No now, cap. as we can see, this man is speeding through a parking lot going at least 50, and he starts bagging in the grand ass car. And he's like, hmm, there better not be nobody in my parking space. This is handicapped. So this man gets out of his car, and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 1-800-collecting-ass-whooping. Ah, <laughs> The granddad says, yo. That's like calling 1-800-collecting-ass-whooping. Call it 1-800-collecting-ass-whooping. Ah, <laughs> right, no. Yo, bro, are you blind? Yes, I am. You got a problem with Dang, that? Dang, bro. And like yeah, gonna, just like that, Robert Freeman has been trapped in a moment. Bro, so maybe. He says, Yo, Lord. you killed somebody. Knocked the rest of his teeth out of his mouth. Old man only has four. 
This man stink meter like, well, I'll be doing them a favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did to my car. Brother, you best have insurance. Nigga, you better Nigga. have insurance. <laughs> Ass whooping insurance, because you about to pay a deductible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Yo, nah, Greg this man got it. Things right now. He could do A, <laughs> walk away, and let insurance. This friend CJ like, got it, bro. B, fight with an old crazy blind man. And uh, let's just say this brother chose B. So Steak Meter just start pressing. He just um, start spitting boy. in his faces. He like, what you gonna do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nigga. You gonna <laughs> do something about it, bitch? Bro, I can imagine him in this, wherever he records, just into the mic. Nigga! <laughs> Going crazy. You like what you gonna do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nigga. Ah. You gonna do something about it, bitch ass, nigga. And then Steak Meter <laughs> ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, and despicable fuck, things you bro? could ever do to another man. Hold up, I smell new shoes. This man stepped on Brandon's white narcissist. Oh, hell no. Nah, bro. This is the most disrespectful <laughs> thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. Nah, and nah, nah. Tough, if you can play it back, look how he stepped on it. Bro, pulled back his whole leg. Had that hoe at a... <laughs> what is it got me weak, gang? This shit got went, me weak. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. That's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. He's like, yeah. Oh. They ain't no anymore. <laughs> yeah, God. So then, this was the final straw that made Granddad take. So <laughs> this shit got me with Granddad. <laughs> so granddad swing at him, but we Brunt dodges it, and he's like, Ah, yeah! <laughs> Oh, that got me weak oh, as Lord. fuck, And dang. it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got your ass beat by an old blind man. So Huey oh, had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, this over. So later on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, everybody just started Jeez. making fun of him. <laughs> Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by an old blind nigga? Then later that night, while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, I look on the news and he like, this just said. A fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man. <laughs> this just said, a fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown assailant. And it wasn't just <laughs> local news. CNN was reporting on it. And nah, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. He's in Mexico City. He's having a badass <laughs> day, gang. And then the phone started ringing, and guess who left a voicemail? <laughs> Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Now, I saw you get your ass beat by that old blind nigga on the news. And I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So, you know what would cheer you up, Robert? Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Robert, hello? Don't you walk away from this ass machine. So, it got <laughs> so bad to the point point. that later on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found <laughs> Stink Meter, and challenged him to a fight. So oh granddad started training thinking he Ali or something, because Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's like that. And then on the other side, you got Riley <laughs> and like that. Ass promoting this like we about to watch Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate or something. So, now it's the night of the fight, and Fucking it is a, Riley out here overcharging for $10. So, they start squaring. Up and stink Get your like, bread, gang. You scared? You scared? Ain't you, bitch? Nyaka. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right <off> <laughs> I don't know what's funnier that or Pinky from Friday, bro. Uh, Friday at, after Friday. Yeah, the the second Friday movie, bro. Oh shit. Vintage. So he starts swinging, and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my god, this ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, hold on, Granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. Fuck. Granddad started whooping that ass. And you know what's crazy about this fight right now? He got beat up by a blind person, got clowned for it. All over the news, right? This don't look good on him either, bro. You know what I'm saying? It don't look good on him. Cause now people are gonna be like, damn, you're fucked up. You beat up on you beat up a blind person. And those same people that was laughing at him 
are gonna say that to his face. That's crazy, bro. You can never win. Bro, I gave him a sword. Are you done? Hey, there you go, the teeth. Like, right. And then granddad loaded up and knocked him out. Fatality. And he didn't just knock him out. Granddad killed him. Oh shit, I forgot that happened. Oh no. Oh, All because no. he got trapped in a moment. So, yeah, oh, that no. was exhibit A, and it's time to move on to exhibit B. <laughs> I forgot about that I shit. I now present to you oh, exhibit man. B. The return. Hey, you happy in hell, so though. You're not we saying. Know, stink meter died. But little did we know, this was just the beginning. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro is washing demons. That's and even crazy. the devil said, He's the baddest motherfucker. I've never seen. This man got the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest guy he's ever seen. Uh, that is the most legendary feat of all time. He even no called the devil a bitch ass nigga. So the devil's like, Turtle H. Stink Meter, I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. That's <laughs> tough, gang. He was happy here. Now he's gonna be miserable again. He's gonna hate everything. He loved it here. LA shit. I'm coming for you, Freeman. Bro, what so the meanwhile, fuck? So meanwhile, we cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. But even Stink Meaner knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during a moment. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking Jeez. his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you nigga poop. You can't do poop. Hey, 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 come back here. I had my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude turn around and just start cussing him out. He like, fuck you, punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass, nigga. I'll beat your motherfucking to ditty ass, nigga. Don't ever your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now, as we can see, Tom has been trapped in a nigga moment. And this was a perfect time for Stink Meaner to make his move. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Coming out to the dome piece for you, boy. Robert's house. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, but the sensor bar is going crazy right now. So, dog starts tearing the door down with an axe, and he's like, I'm back. <laughs> like, yo, what in the shining is going on right now? So, granddad starts running down the oh steps. Oh, my. Jesus yo. Christ, this man's whole package is hanging out. So, Steve are saying, You don't remember me? You don't remember my name? What's my name, nigga? What's my Damn, name, bro. Robert? What's my... And he can see, too. He ain't blind no more. You know what He can see everything. Oh, that's tough, dude. Name! Eh? So then Huey finally says his name. He's like, ding, ding, ding. That's right, nigga. So then all the Freemans get ready to shit, jump bro. So they get the strap, and this man's stick meter going crazy. For a body Huey, oh. Matt Riley around, and he is still continuing to body the whole <laughs> Matt Riley around, and he is still continuing to body the whole family. Look at this chop. <laughs> then he like, is that all y'all got? Yeah. Look at his backhand to Huey. Oh my god. So they finally end up pinning him down, and Riley had to smack this man with like three faces to finally just knock him out. So later on, they got him restrained on this bed, and Robert is having Bye. this date. So in the middle of his date, Stick me to wake up, and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you 
bitch. I know you, you ain't making a stack of debt. What is that? Oh, 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 no, no, bro, no, oh, oh, some oh, fuck. no. Co cover that man's mouth right now, bro. Got to get. Oh, hoodie, what is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy nigga. Uh, you weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on, hey, baby. That's yo. just TV. So they end up Damn. having. Baby looking for sugar daddy, you know what I'm saying? What's up with it? Uh, uh, you weirdo. Wait, wait. Damn, she light skin too. Baby, so, right. TV. so they end up having to uh -huh. call the Catholic Church to exercise this man. So there was only one man that could save the day. May God bless you, Robert. I came as fast as I could. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of shit. So we must use these holy weapons from God himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God, I will get demonetized. <laughs> a brother will make excuses. If he get desperate, that brother may try to rap. Oh yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they get up in this <laughs> room and Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Read the read. Oh. Well, then they start beating this man on the bed and saying some Tough. phrases that I, I'm going to be honest with you. I know I'm not the most family friendly, but uh, I, I, I ain't saying it. He say he he ends up realizing gang. This ain't um, doing uh, So they kept on doing this for like <laughs> several hours. Just look it and up. And they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him. And the only wow. way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally ended up exercising oh, his damn. spirit and sending him back down to hell. Yeah, are not saying get the C. fuck out of here, gang. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit C, the hateocracy. So even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, yeah. he still had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. Ladies and gentlemen, Man, built the damn the gang, bro. A group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stinkmeaner, Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Gright Nasty, and Mr. George Pistol. That bitch out. Ugly. Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Ugly. Gright Nasty, and Mr. George Pistofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated everybody else even more. So mm. they decided to cause Look at bro, now nah, they hitting drive-bys on no they, shot they doing this. They hated everybody else even more. So they They hitting drive-bys, bro, on fuck yo, that's Crazy. Decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home. Hey, Look, yo. Stealing jello and crashing bingo parties. B4. B4. Bingo, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you know the they, they're all shook. Bingo, nigga. <laughs> that bitch is scared of shit, bro. <laughs> you know what the I win. Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out, <laughs> but that didn't stop them because they roamed the <laughs> earth for a decade, causing Bruh. chaos. Eventually, till they split up. But because of the death of Stinkmeaner, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So meanwhile, we cut fuck? over to Ruckus working at this gas station, and this black car pulls up. Bro. So they come up to the door, and Ruckus is like, "Oh hell no! Nah. What the hell y'all want? We looking for someone? Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for? The curious George zoo. exhibit? We looking for a man named Robert uh. Freeman. Hey gang, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta no name, you gotta no identity. You're not saying don't let them know who you is. Oh hell no! Y'all know Robert. Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass to death. Whoop his ass, Rufus. Yo, you know what's crazy? I've always wanted a, like, brass knuckles gang. I ain't gonna lie. I just thought they were always so fucking cool. Where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass That's to death. That's fire. Whoop his ass, Rufus. Shout out to the Drake. You know what I'm saying? Breaking news, a man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Oh, Lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something. Them damn wild animals. Police say the suspects are still at large. So, yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped.
So later that day, George and Esmeralda ah. pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing, obviously, something ain't right. So they go outside, and oh. there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, um, no, nah, nah, G. If I see- Wait, 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 wait. Y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, um, no, nah, no, nah, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds <laughs> moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass moved. So they start to get the Back. scrappy and they is teeing off. Oh, my God. And look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord, she beat me. Hell out of right. I'm about to blow oh, their hips out, boy. Oh, she hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke with. But she Jeez. hit him with that great nasty variant. So Huey and Riley just got nice. absolutely body killed. Oh. John Riley got his brain, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight. But they ended up getting <laughs> bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, Robert ends vanished. up going fishing. But he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir. Do you know a man by Sting Meter? Oh, wait. You already should, because you killed him. Robert Freeman! So, bro, start Yo. swinging this. I don't even know what that is. What so, the Robert started getting the step. But, dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But, Robert kicks the barrel of crabs <laughs> in his face. Oh, Lord. So, later on, he Kill ended up hiring Bushido Brown to be a bodyguard. So, the head office Who? ain't nothing. So, later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown to be what this man gonna do, bro? Be a bodyguard. Is he strapped so up? Hey, end up pulling up to the house. So they start getting ready to jump this man, Bushido Brown. But he low he start working him. Oh my god! Okay, okay. Look how he beat our girl, beat the wig off that bitch. Then he went boom. Then he hit him with bit head built like a milk duck. How he beat our girl, beat the wig off that bitch. You're not. Er -e -er -e. You're not saying. Then he went boom. Then he hit him with the finish. Oh, Nah, bro, this man Bushido Brown was cold. But I say was because uh, that nigga's life was past tense. Bro, this yep. talk that man lacking. Oh, my God. <clears throat> you know, you got to censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube. Because uh, you, yeah. you need that new policy. You don't want to make Mama Susan mad now, do you? Yeah, <laughs> so Granddad saying. started apologizing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. I'm sorry I killed Steak Meaner. I am sorry I had a nigga moment. But then they end up saying, mm, we don't give a f about no Steak Meaner. I beg your pardon? Yeah, he was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? No. No, bro. This whole time you bro. thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No. Nah. They literally came and did all this. All for shits and giggles. Nah, bro. This is crazy. That's just hating to another level. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally. That motherfuckers really just the gave up like that? And they just arrested they, him. they didn't even try it. I mean, granted, they got guns at them and shit, but like, they didn't even bother to try. And the steak That's meaner tough. saga finally came to an end. That's tough. Psych! Exhibit D. D. Die on gang. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Uncharted Territory, the territory where legends are made. Welcome <laughs> to Exhibit D. I now present to you the clone. <laughs> Bro, so these you see, Steak Meaner wasn't game. done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steak Meaner answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com and the government made a clone of him. So he gets his Bruh. note from the original Steak Meaner and it says, Dear Clone Me, go f with that nigga Robert from OG Steak. So later one on, mission, Robert bro, literally wrote one thing on it. Just go fuck with that man over there. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say, don't go do this to somebody else. Go do that. No, go to him and do this. Go f with that nigga Robert from nah, nah. OG Stick. So later on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did it? What's good, what? Robert? That's right. I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to f up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, nah, Yo, bro, I ain't having imagine, this. Imagine, gang, in real life. Somebody's past, you feel me? All like, let's just say all of this is real and re happening in real life. They pass away, they've been gone for a while. They come back, somebody else's body. Cool. Then they're gone. Then they come back as themselves, but cloned. 
Like what? Today, I'm just gonna have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's steam meter is moving. And he's like, oh yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Look at Yo. that headbutt, judo throw, sidekick, boom. And people nah, were ordering bro. Robert getting bodied, man. So you know this episode Yo. was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cop Fact. ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Because later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype. Any of y'all remember Skype? Man? Fact. Matter of fact, does anybody even still use Skype? Mm. But anyways, stick me. It's all about. No, for my the first thing I remember is who, uh, Uvu. That shit's a throwback like a fuck, bro. Uvu. And then it was Skype. And then what, what's the new one now? This Discord, right? Skype? Who the fuck's using Skype nowadays when you got Discord? And on the phone, and he like, what's good, nigga? Just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. And I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. Toodaloo, Robert. So they ended up having another altercation. But Robert called the cops, and they ended up arresting Stink Meter. But then... That's not this enough. is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meaner. So uh, I bailed him out. And now we're going to have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making. <sighs> ah, shit. This, this, like, this man can't avoid Stink Meaner, bro. Like, like. Sting Meaner has a fetish for him right now. Or has had, had a fetish for him his entire life. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck did he do to you, bro? You know what I'm saying? Bro. Speaking of bailing out, did y'all see the fucking, uh, the, the person who killed Takeoff got bailed on a one million, bro? By a, uh, 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 what's it called? Somebody concerned, a concerned person. Like, what? Who the fuck has a million to bail somebody out? You know what I'm saying? And at that, you're bailing out somebody who took a life. You feel me? Like, man, I ain't gonna lie. That was a waste of a million. That's crazy. Making this a whole fight, a televised event with promotional Bruh. material and everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side <laughs> was taking over and he was slowly becoming more like stink meaner. Oh, so no. it's the night of the fight and you can obviously see the difference in him. Man's oh, got the no. ball spot and everything. Bro became what he wanted to destroy. So they start to fight and Robert just kicked him in the face. So stink meaner like, oh, I see you. You must have took some karate classes or something. Ah! So yeah, bro, this wasn't even a fight. Robert gave this man the most absolute beatdown of the century. But the thing is that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. All this is is just Robert under Stink Meaner's influence. He ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy. Yep. An old hating ass nigga. So here we ended up having to stop it. He's like, granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at Oh, oh, crowd, bro. It's just silent. <laughs> and then this man Ed like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. <laughs> it's only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Let's count up the pay per view sales. So then Robert told Stink Meaner, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stink Meaner like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> What nah. the fuck? So you telling yo. me this man could have just stopped all this yeah. hate if you just asked him? No, nah, that's, that's cap. Cool. That is cap, bro. Ain't no fucking way that's the case. Ain't no fucking way that's the case, bro. There's no fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Because he's been doing it for so long. What makes you think that you telling him, can you stop? That's like telling a bully, can you stop, please? They're not going to fucking stop, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're going to stop when you defend yourself. Or something happens to them. You know what I'm saying? Whether getting in trouble, locked up, whatever the fuck. Sounds crazy to get locked up for bullying, but you, you get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just if something happens to them or they're away from you, or if you stand up for yourself, they're not going to fucking stop just by you saying, oh, can you stop, please? The fuck? So we cut Let's keep it real. months later. And this man Stink Meter outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy Stink over? You got to go out there and tell him, stop, gang. You'll probably stop. What's up, Robert? So Robert comes to the door. He's like, get off my property. And Stink Meter say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. See you tomorrow at 7. Nah. 
Nah, gang. PhD in hating. That's actually crazy, bro. That's actually crazy, bro. Like, what? The dialogue is actually spot on from the Stink Miner quotes to Huey's narration. The entire Stink Miner saga made me realize something. Stink Miner just reeks of Black Air Force energy because he is a definition of chaotic evil. The fact that, like, half the dialogue isn't different just goes to show how much of an ob Stink Miner was. Stink Miner, in fact. Stink Miner's whole demeanor is equivalent to a Lego brick. Gaining con- What? Lego brick? Gaining consciousness and deciding to dedicate its whole existence to sending people to the foot doctor. Yo, that is crazy. That is crazy. The fact that CJ barely had to change the dialogue to make it funny shows how funny the boondocks is. You feel me, bro? That's tough, gang. That man is insane, bro. Can you stop? That's just never gonna happen, bro. And if it does, then it- Okay. You feel me? Telling somebody to stop when they hating on you and doing all this shit to you for so long and like, what? All you have to do is ask that man cap. Because look how he pulled up again. You're not saying. Listen, man, let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.